and did it. I ended up cutting my hair about like a day after I filmed my last video. That was about a few weeks ago. Um, I planned to make it to the end of quarantine, but I just couldn't. So I think it turned out pretty well for my first time cutting my own hair. It's not bad, but yeah, anyways. Welcome back to another video, guys. My name is Andre Pell. This channel is about injury prevention, physical therapy, and martial arts tricking. So if you're a tricker trying to avoid getting injured and trying to, you know, stay safe, but also improve in tricking, uh, yeah, this channel is good for you. I would check out a lot of the other videos on this channel. They'll help you out. But that's not what you're here for, right? Right now, you're here to learn full twists, and more specifically, cart full twists from a B twist. That is what this video is all about, and I'm here to show you guys that, so yeah. So, before we start, I want to start with a soft disclaimer. Uh, if you are a tumbler, if you are a cheerleader, if you're a gymnast, this is not the full twist for you. This is a full twist for martial arts tricking. It has a slightly different style, it has a different shape to it, but it is nonetheless a full twist. So um, yeah, just don't be misled by what I'm trying to teach. I'm not trying to teach a cheerleader or gymnast type full. Um, yeah, that's the first disclaimer. Second disclaimer is that you can learn one thing a million different ways. So just because you learn it as a cart B twist, or you know, you learn it as a cart something else, like a front flip or something like that, does not change the fact that it is a full twist. Eventually when you improve your technique, you polish your technique, and you emphasize on the parts that make it a full twist, it will still be a full twist regardless of your foundation, your basis. What I want to provide you guys is something that you are comfortable with, um, something you are comfortable with trying and making edits to, because then we can, you know, make progress, we can move from there. So that is why this is a cartwheel full twist tutorial from B Twist. Obviously, the two prerequisites you'll need for this move is a really good cartwheel, probably a, a really good cartwheel if you can, it'll help you tremendously, and a B Twist. Preferably B twist from standing. If you could land it every time, that would be great. It'll help you get this move a lot faster. But otherwise, you know, just watch along and you'll kind of understand what I'm trying to say in this video. Step one is the cartwheel. Coming out of the cartwheel, we want to come out strong and we want to stand up tall. So we want to start from a normal standing position and end in a normal standing position. That is the way we preserve the most momentum. And then we also want to come out with our arms raised, preferably as high as possible, just to build good habits. In reality, later on, uh, when you get used to this, your body starts doing it subconsciously. You only really need a certain amount of shoulder flexion to get you that same amount of, you know, stuff. For good habits sake, just start building up the habit of getting your arms up as high as you can because that will, you know, get you the most preservation of momentum out of your cartwheel. Yeah, whatever. You, you get what I'm saying. So we'll just start with that, you know, just getting our cartwheel good. And then once we got that good and comfortable, uh, we're actually going to do a cartwheel and then a B-twist right after each other like we're comboing it, but treating them as two separate movements because we really need to get used to them kind of together before actually putting them together. So, you know, just do a cartwheel, stop your momentum and then do a b-twist and drill this over and over and over and over until you're comfortable right simple as that nothing complex about it if you find yourself not being able to do this train your b-twist make your b-twist better your cartwheel sucks make your cartwheel better it's very very intuitive and then the next step step three would be to start merging the two moves so now we have a cart b-twist we want to turn it into a cart full twist the way we do that is to actually start using our cartwheel to play momentum into the B twist. Does that make sense? At the beginning, it's okay to have the one footed takeoff. Uh, eventually, you do want to take off with two feet at one time. That makes a difference. That's what differentiates a B twist and a full twist, one of the aspects. And then you just want to decrease the amount of time you pause before going to that B twist. The longer you pause, the more of a B twist it's gonna be. The faster you go from your cartwheel into the B twist, the more of a full twist it's gonna be. Does that make sense? So you do cartwheel and go faster 
or if you think backwards, you think the other way, do a car wheel and then less of a pause before your bead twist. Either one will get you the same result and either one will get you a pretty much a cart full twist. Try and imagine yourself twisting at that moment and that is sort of the timing you want to aim for. It's going to be a little troubleshooting, but you'll be able to get there. So just cart, bead twist, reduce the time between your cart wheel and your bead twist and also get comfortable with the two-footed takeoff. That's a cart full twist. By now you pretty much have a cart full twist, but it still is a little too B twisty. There are a lot of things we can do to make it better. And it's important that you don't skip these steps or else you're gonna run into problems when you start doing like, or trying to do like double fulls and things like that. So from here, I would recommend changing the way you flip. A lot of times with B twist, we tend to turn too much to the side. What this does is this mixes up our flip. It creates a flat spin in our flip axis instead of an overhead spin. You know what I mean? We want that overhead spin because it'll get us a lot more flip momentum if we want to do swings, more twists. And the way we can do that is that when we come out of our cartwheel with our arms above our head, instead of pulling around to the side like we twist for a V-twist, almost like a flat spin-ish, we're going to pull from up to down. You can think of it kind of like a diagonal. Well, I twist to the right, so I would think from my left shoulder to my right hip. But um, if that doesn't seem to be working for you, just think completely up to down, because then you'll find yourself twisting somewhere in between. And you know, that's kind of the end result we want anyways. So yeah, just get your arms up and then just pull down as hard as you can. And you'll notice you'll get a ton of more flip and you'll be twisting on a more vertical or, well, not very I should say. Uh, you'll be twisting on a more inverted axis, which is kind of what we want, and that'll make it more full twisty. That's pretty much it. And then the rest of it all has to do with just getting comfortable with the movement, drilling the movement a lot, comboing the movement a lot, and also just practicing your technique to make it more polished and more like a full twist. I'd recommend to study a lot of other people's cart full twists, see what differentiates yours with it, because remember, your basis is a B twist not necessarily like an Arabian or not necessarily like a backside nine. Obviously, I recommend you learn all those techniques. I will create tutorials on those as well. Uh, but understanding what you're doing inside the air will allow you to correct for it properly because you know what a cart full twist should look like and you have videos of yourself to study what you are doing right now. So yeah, that was a quick and simple tutorial. Obviously, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. Uh, if you got video requests, do so as well. And again, I recommend you check out some of the other videos on this channel. Uh, very important for the lifespan of a tricker to stay healthy and uninjured. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. And yeah, see ya.